Hi there, uh, Jordan McCars from EnviroMonster. Today we're talking energy with nuclear physicist George Stanford. Uh, from an environmentalist perspective, I, I consider nuclear uh, preferable to coal because it uh, because there's far less pollution, less mining. Uh, however, the impact from uranium mining, uranium mining is still substantial, and there is the the, the ongoing issue of how to deal with the nuclear waste. So, me personally, I'm I'm much more interested in uh, what's called the fast reactor, the recycling reactor, mm -hmm. the breeder reactor. So could you tell us more about what that is? Yeah, well you mentioned the mining and the waste. And that is two of the problems that are really addressed by fast reactors. Because that is, the reactors that we normally use now are called thermal reactors, which means that they slow the neutrons down. A uh, fast reactor does not slow the neutrons down, and I won't get into why that uh, makes a difference, but it does. And the result is that a fast reactor can use, can access all the energy that's in the uranium, whereas the reactors we're running now get less than 1% of the energy that's in the uranium that we mine. And uh, so 99% of the energy right now in the uranium is treated as waste. It's as though you filled your gasoline tank with 20 gallons, you drove for a mile, and then you empty it and start over. Okay. Uh, now a fast reactor can get all the rest of that energy. And it, what that means is that there's enough uranium already mined so that if we had fast reactors, we could power the nation and the world for several hundred years without mining a bit more uranium. Yeah. So, uh, well, you said 99? I heard, I heard that, that you could get, you could use the fuel like 19 more times? Uh, that's, that's not a, a good way to look at it. The fact is that the, the reactors that the United States uses use enriched uranium, say it's enriched to 5% U-235, which you need in order to have them work, uh, which means that 90% of the energy in the uranium never even gets into the fuel. It's contained in what they call depleted uranium that is in storage out west somewhere. And uh, so there's that's a vast uh, energy resource. In fact, there's more energy in that uranium than that we have in coal in the ground. At this point. And with the fast reactor, we could we could use the fast reactor will access all of that. But before we even start using that, we would use the spent fuel that is uh, now left over from our thermal reactors, and uh, the uh, so that can be used to start up fast reactors. To uh, and one result of that is that the long-lived waste is burned in the fast reactors. That's another advantage they have. They consume the very long life waste that people are concerned about in 10,000 years or more. So there's so there's there's less mining, way less mining. We wouldn't we wouldn't need to do any more if we were capable of use of, of uh, putting these these reactors into use. And there's less radioactivity at the far end because you're actually using the fuel that, that becomes radioactive waste. Yeah, what's left over the the, the, the waste that's left over is fission products, in other words, the split, the atoms that have split. And for every, you know, a normal size power plant or a fairly large one is a thousand megawatts. Um, and for a thousand megawatts running for a year, you get about one ton of fission products. So you've got one ton of waste, of the, of the real waste, for every power plant per year. Whereas with the coal, you have I don't know how many thousand tons of waste. And uh, oh, another interesting thing is sort of by a sidelight. Uh, the, there's residual uranium in coal. And there's more energy in the ash, in the, in the uranium in the coal ash, than we got out of the coal by burning it. It's, I don't know that you'd want to mine that ash for uranium, right, yeah. but theoretically you could. So, um, 
Okay, well, uh, before I ask you another question, is there, are there any fast reactors in commercial use anywhere in the world? Yes. There's one in France, there's uh, uh, one or two in Russia, um, and there have been more that have run. France had a, uh, one called a Super Phoenix, which was a more advanced than the Phoenix reactor that they're now running. Uh, that reactor had startup problems, the Super Phoenix did, but they finally got them cured and then they shut it down because of political uh, purposes. But uh, it was working. It was working. So fine. France has gotten there, and Russia has gotten there. And Japan has a reactor called Monju, uh, which had a sodium fire a few years ago, and that, uh, and then it turned out there was some bad management in the plant, so it had some problems. But they were non-fundamental to the past reactor, and I keep hearing that the Monju reactor is going to start up again to produce power. Okay. Um, where do we stand in this research and development, as far as you know, in this country now? Yeah, the, well, the reactors I mentioned, the fast reactors, are, are an obsolete design. They would not make any more of those. What the, the kind of reactor that uh, I think is the one we should use is uh, sodium cooled with metallic fuel. It's called, uh, it was developed at Argonne National Laboratory, as a matter of fact and uh, called the IFR, an integral fast reactor. Is it possible to convert existing conventional reactors to fast reactors? No, but you could put a, a fast reactor on the same site. And, but there's no reason to shut down a conventional reactor prematurely. Right. Because the fast reactor can use its spent fuel very nicely. It, it, they work very well and symbiotically. So would you, could you build one then adjacent or basically in the same facility? Sure you could, yeah, uh, on, the same, on the same general site. And, and it, it doesn't have a very big, doesn't occupy a very big area. So it, uh, should, there shouldn't be any problem doing that. And it also could, could be put where there are coal plants and, and use the, the heat exchangers and all the rest uh, if, if they're still in good condition. Uh, that the coal plants use. So one advantage of, of uh, reactors is that they can be put near population centers. Not, I think they could be safely put in the middle of them, but probably wouldn't be done. Uh, and that means that the, the transmission line needs are much less than they would be, say, for wind, which has to be uh, put located remotely and, and has a tremendous uh, need for long transmission yeah. lines.